Hi, it's Beverly Cole. I hope you're having a great day. Welcome to my channel, Artsy Stamper. Hi everybody, it's Beverly Cole and this is my very first video for my own YouTube channel. I'm so excited. We have stickers now at Sparkle and Sprinkle and these right here are some of my images that are going to be coming out in a couple of months as stamp sets, but I don't know if you can get these now. Maybe. Aren't they cute? I just love them. Oh, they're so cute. And here's the stamp set that's going to be coming out in a couple of months, too. But I get to have it first. I just love it. Look, look, look. I'm just so excited. And then this one comes out in, in May. It's my retro cruising stamp set. <laughs> I love it. And of course, these are all digital too. And then this one comes out, ah, not quite sure, June? Anyway, these are my silhouettes. These are sand dune silhouettes. I love them. I can't wait to play with them. I found something really cool today that I wanted to share with you. I got this old book um, at a yard sale on Saturday. First of all, the author's name is Cole pretty cool but it's in really rough shape but I like to do journaling so I'm probably going to tear this book apart and I'll have to do that with you but on page 131 and this is an old art book which is cool also the new art library 19 wait, what is it 1927 and on page 131 there's a drawing by the author of lily pads and it just inspired me and made me think of my stamp set so I took the stamp set digitally and went into the, on my computer and used his layout as inspiration and tweaked and uh, fooled around with my images and made um, this image here I did it twice but by ma manipulating the um, the digital stamps and changing the angle on them and stuff, I was able to make it look pretty three-dimensional. Then I ran them out off and I decided I wasn't quite sure I liked that top set of bubbles. What do you think? So here's the sentiment too. Oh, I forgot to put that it's Van Gogh. Oopsie. If you truly love nature, you will find beauty everywhere. And that's Vincent Van Gogh. I gotta put that on there though. Aren't they cool? So there's things you can do with digis that you just can't do with regular stamps. Hi, so here we are in front of my computer and I want to show you how I manipulated those images of my lily pads, these here, to uh, look that way and give you that definition of the distance there. So, first thing I did was open my open office, and then I'm going to go here to drawing, because I'm going to use the drawing segment of this free downloadable program. And everything we're going to do, we're going to do right here. So, I'm going to insert, up here I'm going to, let's see if I can show you, let me tilt this a little better, okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. okay. Up here, up here, it says insert picture from file. I have this saved in a file. So I'm going to go to the file in Dropbox and I'm going to find my images. And the first one I'm going to download is this one. Open. And my image will appear. Okay. So now that image is going to stay right where it is. So I'm going to click off of it so it's not, it's not uh, selected. That's the word. And I'm going to go back up here to insert, and I'm going to insert another picture from file, and I'll go right back to that same file. And now I'm going to insert this image here. I can double click on it too, and it will move to the page and here it is and if I put my little cross on the image and press down my left button on my mouse I can move it around. Ok, 
Okay, so I want to move it to right about here. And then I'm going to arrange it and send it back. Okay, now if I click on that image again, I'm going to be able to change the angle, as you see right there, and then click on it again so it's red and I can turn it, and there you have it, and then click off the image, so it was green, and then if you click on it again, it turns red, and red lets you do some different things. Uh, uh, perspectives on your image. So now I want to put another image in and I'm going to use the same one. So I could go back over here and insert it, but instead I'm just going to cl click on it and then I'm going to push control copy on my keyboard, control button and C. Then I'm going to push control and V and that will copy that image. See, now I can move it again. Come on, there we go. So you have to click on the image. If I click out here, nothing happens. It has to be here. So if I click out here, it won't select it. You have to click on the image. So make sure, even if you're using a, just a word, you have to actually click on the word to move it. Okay, so this one, I'm going to put over here. And here, all I can do is make it bigger and smaller. But if I click on it again and it turns red, I can turn it, I can make the angle different. So, oops, too much. But I also now want to change that. Now I'm not going to hold down my shift button and watch what happens. It actually works where the, it stays the same at this point. And I think that's because we changed the angle. So now we have to go to red to change the shape and to turn it there so I can move it around and then I'm going to go back to green. I don't know why it's not letting me make it fatter. Let's see if I hold my, whoops, back there. Get. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to hold down my shift key and see what happens. Oh, nothing. I think the easiest thing would be for me to get rid of it. So I'm going to go down here with my fingers onto my backspace button and it will get rid of it. And we're going to go to insert up here again, picture from file, because I want to make this one chunkier. And it's this one again. Okay, so now this new image is rounder and I like that. So I'm going to put it here and then right click, right click on my net, on my mouse with the right button and I'm going to arrange, send to back. Nope, send backward because that way, send to back would send it all the way behind this image and I only wanted it behind one. So send to back is way back. Send backwards, you're just sending it back a little bit. Believe me, if you make a mistake enough times, you're going to know. So that's where I'm going to leave that one, click off of it, and I'm going to add another image. Now this time, I'm going to repeat this one right here. And I know that this one I never did anything to, so I'm going to go Control button C. Wait, first I've got to click on it. There we go. I selected it. Then I push Control button C while I hold down the Control button. Then Control button B, and that copies it. So here's my copy, but I need it to be a lot smaller. And I'm just going to hold down the shift button, make it smaller, and I'm going to move it up here. And I want to turn it. Can't do that with the green, so you got to click on it till it's red, and you'll see that you get this turning thing. And I want to turn it quite a bit, not that far. So let's just go back, turn it again, wait till I get that turn, and now, it's going the wrong way, so what I want to do is flip it. So I'm going to right click, right click again on my mouse, and here's flip. And I want to flip it horizontally, and there's my horizontal flip. So now, I'm going to turn it, I'm 
until I get this shape. And I'm going to put it down here. And it needs to be smaller. So we're going to have to click on it and make it green again. And it's smaller. Now remember, I want it to go all the way back this time. So right click, arrange, send back to back. There. Now it's all the way back. But it's not quite at the angle I want. So I clicked on it until it turned red. And now watch. I can change the angle. And I can move it. I think I still need to change that angle a bit. So you can play around with it until you see what you want. And I like that. So I clicked off of it. Now I've got these four lily pads. This one I think I need to move down here. I want some white space. And now we're going to put in a lily. So we'll go to up to insert picture from file and it'll take me to my file and I want the lily. So I'm going to pick the lily. Pick the lily. Okay. So here's the lily. And I'm going to move it over to here. And I do want this lily up front. So I'm going to leave it here. I kind of like it the size it is. I can make it a little smaller. So I'm going to hold my shift button with my left finger and make it just a little smaller. Okay. All right. And I'm going to move it up. So I want to hide that. There we go. For now. Might change it again. I think I want this to be bigger. So shift button with my left finger and make that bigger. And move it up a bit. There we go. Okay. So then another lily. So I'm going to go click on the lily. Remember what we do. Control button with the left finger. C. Control again. V. There's our copy. We can just move it back here. And I need it to be a lot smaller. So hold the shift button. Reduce the size. Reduce the size and move it up here. I even want smaller. Shift smaller. And I need it to look flatter. So let's click on it again. And we'll get those two little bars. Uh, let's see if I can do that. Flip it around. And then look at that. I want it even smaller. Click on it till it's green. And now it won't change shape at all. Once you manipulate it, it won't change shape. You don't have to hold down that button anymore. So I want to send it back. So what do I do? Right click. Arrange. Send backwards. Nope. Got to send it to the back. Arrange. Send to back. There we go. And I'm going to move it up a little bit. And I'm going to shrink it a little bit more. I want it to look. Now that's to make it look really far away. So now I need another... Uh, lily pad. So click off that and I'm going to insert a picture from the file and it's going to be this lily pad. Now we're working back. We're working back. So when you're working for things to be further away, you not only make them smaller and change the, the angle of them, the perspective, but you also put them up higher on the page. So we're going to move it higher on the page. We're going to shift and make it smaller. Okay. Even smaller. I'm going to move it up here. I'm going to flip it. Right, right click, flip, and start up. Okay, so we need a new image. So we're going to go to insert. Picture from file. And I want... This one. Okay. And I'm going to bring it back here. And I want to flip it horizontally. There we go. And then I want to make it a little smaller. So we'll shift and make it a little smaller. Smaller, smaller still. And then move it up here. Now I'm going to click it and make it red. And now I can change the angle on it. Okay, so now that the angle's changed, I need to make it flatter. Okay, and I'm going to put it back here, but I need it smaller. So I'll make it smaller, and I want it back here. And I think I even want it flatter. Okay. And 
of smaller and I'm going to turn it a little bit mm. here and then because it's in front of that lily what do I have to do right click arrange send to back and now it's behind the lily now I want to do another one so we're going to go back here and we're going to insert picture file and we're going to choose this image and we're going to put it here click on it till it's red Turn it. When it's red, turn it. Come on, there. Oops. <laughs> turn when you get that little round. There you go. Turn it. And then you can flatten it a little bit more. Flatten it some more. Turn it. Should I really? Back here. You can do this. And turn it so you play around with it till it's what you want. Then I can click on it and make it smaller here. Click on it again and make it shorter. Turn it, and now in this space here, I'm gonna put. Oh, I think it needs to be smaller, so we'll just make it green and make it smaller. And now in here, I still think it needs to be flatter still. Mm-hmm. So I get a little crazy with this thing. It's kind of fun though. So right in here I'm gonna put a lily. So we're gonna to go to insert picture from file and choose the lotus pod. The lotus pod is a bonus digital image that you don't get in the regular set, the regular rubber set. So shift, hold the shift down. And make this really tiny because it's far away and then we're just going to move it so that it's in there and i want it to actually be right in the crack there, there. so i think i could make that a tiny bit bigger okay so there's that and then one more lily pad insert picture from file one more lily pad we're going to put it way back here. So we're going to move it up here. Click on it again. Make it flat. Turn it around. Move it back. I want it really flat. Oops. Red. Turn. Turn. Click on it till it's green. And now remember, it won't change shape anymore. So you can put it way back here and not have to hold that shift button anymore. And make it small. Oh, oops. Just green. There we go. And when it's red, I can even make it flatter. Flatter. Wow, look at that. So, that is my really flat lily pad. That little cross makes me able to move it around. And I'm going to make it behind this one to make it look even further away. So you're moving up on the screen, you're layering behind each other and moving up from big to small. The perspective changes from this to this. And we're also making a path for your eye to follow. It goes up and then it comes around and then it comes back down here. So now we're going to add something fun. Going to go insert picture from file and we're going to add my favorite bubbles. Double click or hit click once and open. So I take the bubbles and I put some far up. So before I do that, what I'm going to do is click my left button on my mouse and I'm going to draw a big square. So I hold the button down and pull and I and it helps me to grab all the images. So now they're all together, but I think I missed one. Nope, I didn't. 
So what I want to do is move them all down so I have room for the bubbles. Okay, click off, and now I have room for the bubbles. So the first bubbles I'm going to put up here. I'm going to left. I'm going to shift, hit my shift button and make them. Whoops, make them a little smaller. And I want to turn them around. So I'm going to wait till they turn red. Wait for that turn arrow, and I'm going to just turn them all the way around. Okay. And then I'm going to choose them. Control copy. Control C, Control button B, and I have a copy. So now this one I'm going to make smaller. So I'm going to hold the shift key and make it really small. I want them really small. And then I can move. Remember if I click on the, watch, when I don't click on the image, well, that might make me a liar. Um, I want to turn these a bit. So I'm just going to turn them partially so they look different. And then I'm going to, I still have them copied, so I'm going to control print again, control D. And I always copy right over the original image. So now I'm going to take it down here. I'm going to overlap. They're a little big, so I'm going to shift, make them smaller. Maybe a little smaller. And now I'm going to flip. So right click, flip, and let's trip vertically. Okay, so it turned them, flipped them vertically, and now they look even different. So you can make them look different by manipulating them. And I just want to make them a little bit smaller. So now that we've manipulated them, I don't have to hold the, button, the shift key anymore. Okay, so see how they, because they're PNG images, we can layer them. If we were using JPEGs, we wouldn't have been able to do any of this layering. Now I'm going to save it. If I save it, it stays in the program. Open Office, but I'm going to export. So I'm going to go up to File. I'm way up here now. You see my? Can you see File up here? Oh, let me move the camera a little bit. Okay. Way up here in the corner is File. Down here, Export. Takes us to this screen. <clears throat> We're going to decide where we want to save it. So I want to save it back in. The downloaded digital set of the Koi Pond bundle. And so I choose that. Then down here I title what I'm going to call this. And we'll call it Lily Pad. Whoops. Lily Pad Layering. And then over here, are you following me? I'm over here now. Here, I choose, right here, choose. Oh, that's the name. Underneath it, I choose JPEG because I don't need it to have a clear background. And then I'm going to push save. Now that will save it. I've exported it out of the program. And it's going to ask me this screen how big I want it. Eight and a half by 11 is fine. Just click OK. And now I have this here. And if I close my program, which I will do now, it's asking me if I want to Save any changes. Well, I just did, so I can say discard. Now, I'm going to open that program again and show you how it's saved. So here comes Open Office. Okay. Now, I can go to Open Want. So I go over here to Dropbox, Sparkle and Sprinkle. Download the Digisets, Koypon Superset, and now look. Lily Pad Layering. See it right here? Lily Pad Layering right here. Click on that. Double click on that or open. Push click and open the button, the open button at the bottom. And now it'll open my page. And there it is. And then I can print this. Okay, so if this was helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, I hope that you will subscribe so that you can follow me on my YouTube channel. I will be doing more things with digitals, and I'm going to be using them in all kinds of projects. I've got a lot of stuff up my sleeve. So uh, hit the bell so you don't miss any videos. Every time I do another one, it'll come up. And uh, visit my blog, artsystamper.blogspot.com. I'll put a link below. Have fun.